Greetings once again, my fellow Star Trek fans, and Happy New Year! I hope your year is going to be filled with many blessings and happiness for you and your family, and I'd like to welcome you to another video involving Star Trek. One of my favorite subjects is the USS Enterprise, and what I want to talk about today is I've shown you guys the history of the long box, 1966 USS Enterprise. And we've had different releases from the long box reissue, from the long box original issue, um, from the 1966 issue to the 1966 reissue. What I want to focus on today is I just want to do a quick video to tell you guys the little subtle differences between this is going to be the reissue of the Enterprise model kit from 1966, the original boxing. Now I have shown you the original, I've shown you the re-release, and I've actually shown you the reissue in the collector's tin. And what was special about that release was it was in blue plastic. I've also shown you the long box issue with the blue plastic. Um, but we're gonna take a look specifically at the collector tins today because you may or may not know uh, there was more than one release. So let's go over to the desk where there's more room and there's more light, and I'll tell you guys about the Collector Tin, the Starship USS Enterprise Spaceship Model Kit. Okay, so basically, this is where it all started from. I've shown you guys this fantastic model kit from 1966. This is Desilu Productions, and by the way, I'm going to be doing a series, a history on Desilu stu uh, Studios with Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz because we have them to thank for Star Trek. So I'm working on that video currently, but watch for that. And this one was reissued by Polar Lights Round 2 when we had the anniversary of Star Trek and um, a little bit later. So this was the anniversary, this is the 50th anniversary edition of the model kit. And let me take it out of the plastic sleeve. <clears throat> so you can see the, it's basically the same packaging. And this one, um, obviously it's not the same tooling as that one is. This one is a totally different molding. Um, the reissued molding, and this is in gray. And I have shown you guys this one. As a matter of fact, we did a build of the, um, the long box reissue. And what I ended up using was the, um, the lighting and the sound effects from the 25th anniversary Enterprise A. And that was a pretty fun build because the lights ended up syncing up perfectly and the sound effects with the phasers and the photon torpedoes from when the Enterprise was this way before the refit. Anyway, I'm getting off track. This is the, <clears throat> the reissue. So let me get it back into the sleeve. Yeah. So when it comes to the original release, like I said, 1966, and it came out a little before the 50th anniversary, but this is, let's see, I'm trying to find the year. This is 2015. This one is marked the 50th anniversary. Well, in addition to this, they also, um, Polar Lights had come out with a round of collector tins. <clears throat> and this is where we're going to get to today's um, video. So, like I said, it started in 1966. We have the issues from 2015 and around that time period where this is the special 50th anniversary, but they also did it um, without the 50th anniversary sleeve. So let's put these aside now. Now we're going to talk about the collector tin. So the collector tin came out. And as you can see, the first edition release of the collector tin, we've got the backgrounds looking pretty similar. As a matter of fact, it's just about identical. Um, 
it's embossed. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but that's what I love about these tins. And this one comes with the bonus art print. And you can see the commemorative edition USS Enterprise NCC-1701 featuring original packaging art commemorative tin limited edition 1701. So this is the one that they released first when it comes to collector tins. And there's nothing on the back. And looking at the sides of the box, you can see it's pretty pretty faithful to the original. We got Mr. Spock with his phaser. You get the featuring. See on the bottom, the original release had the operating upper and lower dome lights. The twin power units complete with display stand. Total length of the spaceship is 18 inches. Colorful decals. And this is AMT. Corporation 1225 East Maple Road, Troy, Michigan, 48084. So the reproduction has the same thing. It's got the box. It says features, twin power units, complete with display stand. Total length of spaceship is 18 inches, colorful decals. And now we have round two, 4073, Megan Beater uh, Court. South Bend, Indiana, 46628, cement not included with kit. And it's pretty much, they did a really good job in reproducing. You can see the original release is kit number 921200. The reissue is kit AMT 608. All right, the last comparison we'll do with the original kit is on the side of the box. You can see. If you're looking to get an original kit with the lights, just look for the box on the side that has Captain Kirk, and you can see if the black box has As Seen on NBC TV, that's the one that you want, that's the one with the lights. Um, the one that they had, <clears throat> excuse me, in Europe, you will see As Seen on BBC TV, and that would be the Aurora kit. But that's another video. Okay, and... As seen on NBC is on the original. And now, getting back to the collector tin, you can see it has the same box, but now we have the round2corp.com and we have the registered trademark information, and this is a skill level of two. So that's basically flash forward. It's no longer 1966. Everybody loves that kit. Personally, I'm uh, I'm fond of the uh, the long box. That's my favorite issue of this kit, probably because that was my childhood box where it came out. But I love this one as well. The well, the original release of this one. So getting back to the collector's tins, we had this one that was released. Now, usually I like to go through eBay and I look for different Star Trek model kits, um, and I'm always on a lookout for things I don't have. Well, I was going through eBay and I had seen a collector tin of the Enterprise and it was in blue plastic. So I'm like, ooh, okay. Because I had shown you guys a reissue of the long box from the late 70s, early 80s, and it was released in blue plastic. I showed you a video on that. And when I had seen that the collector tin had the blue plastic, it piqued my interest. So obviously, I wanted to get it. So I ended up getting it, and this one I had earlier, I had previous, but I never opened it because <laughs> I just couldn't bring myself to open it. Anyway, <clears throat> um, I had gotten the collector tin, and I had done a video on the unboxing. I actually had a bonus lighting kit that I didn't even realize that was in it from Don's Light and Magic. If you guys want to check that out, I did a playlist of... Um, the, the ship and I'll put the link in the description so you guys can check it out if you want but that was a real bonus so anyway this one has the collector edition USS Enterprise featuring vintage style packaging art collectors tin so the first one it said limited edition 1701 the reissue was a limited edition but it doesn't say that but what makes this one unique is that this one was molded in blue plastic. 
and I love that that blue plastic. There's just something about the Enterprise in blue that looks awesome. Um, I have shown you the video. I did an unboxing of the blue plastic from the early 70s, uh, late 70s, early 80s, and I plan to build her in just blue. I think she's going to look great. Anyway, I've shown you that one, and when I had seen the blue with the collector tin, I was very interested, and I had gotten it. Now, when it comes to the instructions and the mold and the decals, everything with these two kits are identical. Um, the decal sheets, it's got the mold, the base, the half dome with the, um, the metal support rod. Uh, what else has it got? It's got the, um, the different decals, so you can do the different ships. It's got, um, yeah, it, it, they're, they're identical. The instruction sheets are identical, and the only difference is in these now, the first release in the collector's tin of the original 1966 box, this came in white plastic. It was molded in white. And then you had the, the, the base, the support rod, the decals, um, the instruction sheet, and this one has the bonus art print. Um, and it's the bonus art of the, the Enterprise. I'll put it up if I can find a picture because I don't want to open this one up. Anyway, that's what it has. And the blue, the box has the blue background with the Enterprise just like the original release did. Now, I don't know if it was due to popular demand, but they ended up reissuing the collector tin of the original release. Now, we got this one. <clears throat> And these are subtle differences that you wouldn't really know unless you had them side by side. And if you take, if you notice, the first thing that looks different is now instead of the blue background, instead of the blue background now that the original one had, or the first release of the tin, just to mimic the original 1966 release, well, now they switched it over, and it's got a green background. So if you look, everything has like a emerald green kind of look to it. And you can really tell the differences when they're side by side, just like that. And <clears throat> you look at the, the lettering now. USS Enterprise is in baby blue. And on the re-release, the USS Enterprise is in kind of a mint green, kind of light green, kind of spearmint green type of thing. And it says spaceship model kit. Well, the spaceship is in yellow letters. And then you look at the reissue, and it's in red. So there are subtle differences here and there. So when we look at the sides of the box, and I've already compared it to the original release, so we're not going to do that. But... I want to line it up so we get the right... Okay, here it is. The features. We got Mr. Spock. We have the Enterprise with the green background now. Now, when we take the reissue, you can see that it's just about identical with the exception of the, the, uh, the color of the background on the Enterprise. You got the one on top, the first release, and that was in blue. And then on the bottom, the latter release, it's in green. And other than that, everything is identical. Now we'll look at the same thing on the ends of the box. But you can see, now the, the numbers of the models has changed. The first issue was AMT 609, uh, excuse me, 608. And you can see on the bottom, it's AMT 640. So they changed the model numbers. So looking at the other side of the box where we had in the past the As Seen on NBC, you can see everything is just about identical with the exception of the background. But that's one big thing to tell the difference between the first issue of the Collector Tin and the second. <clears throat> and again, this one was released in white plastic 
And when this one was released, it was in blue plastic. It was that same kind of baby blue um, that the original, well, not the original release, but the reissue of the long box from the 1970s to the early 1980s had. Other than that, everything is the same. It's got the half dome with the metal support rod. The decals are the same. The instruction sheets are the same. This one, by the way, does not have the bonus art print that this one comes with. But there's so much attention that's been given to this incredible model kit. And I just love it. Um, they've done the same thing for the long box. I would love for AMT to release a collector tin of the long box issue. That would be, that would just be fantastic. I would love that. But today's focus was on the 1966 release. A lot of things come from this wonderful kit. The molding, um, the fit of this kit is just, I love it. It's just incredible. It was made with the lights. You had the lights and a bridge and the sensor dome and the battery compartment would go behind a deflector dish and <clears throat> just a lot of fun but anyway i'm going to be doing i'm working on a special a video for the desilu studios and the birth of star trek so in today's video my friends i just wanted to give you a quick little video and show you the differences between the first release of the collector tin of the 1966 issue and the updated release of the collector tin featuring the packaging from the 1966 issue and of course this one is in a different color the background so my friends i hope you guys have a wonderful new year and i hope you enjoy this quick little video uh, and i'll talk to you guys real soon